Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, Not Your Average Noob, and welcome back to a brand new Spawn PK video. Today we are going to be doing raids, a highly interactive PVM type of content, and we're also going to be checking out all the pets that they might drop and their effects. In addition to this, we're also going to give some feedback on what should be added to these pets and what should be changed, and then we're going to go PKing with these pets. In this video, we are going to be giving away a $100 bond to one lucky winner and a $20 bond to the first non-edited comment that states their username on this video. So if you guys would like to enter this giveaway for these awesome bonds, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like the video, and comment your in-game username, and register using the link in the description so no one can steal your reward. Join the Not Your Average Discord today where we do exclusive giveaways and you can now earn bonds just for being active. We also do a lot of cool activities and events for our subscribers so we can all grow together as friends. If this interests you, there will be a link in the description so you guys can come on in and have some fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Alright, so I am not experienced with raids at all, but I do want to go ahead and talk about the different types, the possible drops and rewards, and then we're going to do a raid, talk about the pets, and then we're going to PK with them. Alright, so the first thing, the drops. Basically, there's something called a Relic of Zarek, which basically gives you a random pet from the Chambers of Zarek, and then there's also, of course, three pets. There's going to be a Vespula pet, a Vasa Nishtirio pet, a Ohm pet, and then there's also going to be drops such as the Twisted Bow, Elder Maul, Kodai Wan, Ancestral, and all your other traditional raid items. You can immediately jump into a raid by yourself or with friends by doing the normal mode. There's no requirements for it, and their drop rates are pretty standard. But as you climb through the difficulties, you'll see that the Adept difficulty bosses have 50% more HP, 10% more defense, bosses deal 5% more damage, and you deal 5% less damage. Now this seems a little bit crazy, but if you actually take a look at the Expert, the Master, and the Grandmaster, it just gets worse and worse. So I assume the drop rates are a whole lot better when you get to things like Master and Grandmaster. So I myself have done parties of five before, and it's actually really fun to do it with your friends, but we are going to do a solo raid just for the sake of this video. Have mercy on my soul, I am not a good raider, but we're going to try. Alright, so if I remember this correctly, one of my mates told me that you want to go ahead and clump these all in one spot, lure them over to a specific corner, and then once you have them all, get them to DD, and then you can just barrage clump them. Perfect! And I should be able to save spot them. Yeah, I totally messed up on the save spotting thing. There should be a way where they can't even hit you, but I kind of kind of botched that up. So if I'm not mistaken, I ice barrage them. Now they can't move. And then maybe we blood barrage them so they can't hit us with melee. So the only thing they can hit us with really is range and magic. Maybe. Maybe. Beautiful! That's how you do it. I think I'll learn more once I do more raids, but yeah, definitely just get them in a barrage clump, and I'll find out how to not take any damage, but it looks like range prayer is definitely going to be the thing that you want to do. Alright, then I think I just entered the passage. Ah oh my god, we got the Vasa. So for this one, you don't really need prayer, you just keep running around. You don't want to get hit by those rocks, so I guess you just kind of try your best, and then keep hitting it and running around, and when a crystal comes, you got to hit the crystals in the four corners. I'm not even going to bother with the rocks, to be honest with you, because it just doesn't deal that much damage. Now, if those other fuckers were to one hit you, then it would definitely be a problem. Seriously? An AFK patrol guard at raids. That needs to be fixed. I don't know how we can do that, but... Hey, I'm getting better at the weave. It's all about timing, boys. Yeah, there we go. Getting way better with it. Like, believe it or not, this, on Spawn PK, this is my first time ever doing raids, and like, it's been pretty smooth of a process, I've had some good friends teach me, it's just really good, and I like it a lot. Recklessly looking at the drop table as I fight it, Vasa Nisterio, 1 out of 3,000 for the pet, and then 1 out of 2,500 for all the ancestral. So not only do you have a chance to get it from the actual chest itself, but you also have a chance to get drops from the actual bosses. Well, at least I think that's how it works, and I actually like the sound of that, to be honest with you. Yo, all I'm saying is, if I found something like this in my room or basement, pesticide isn't going to help. I'm going to call 911. Do you have any more peanut butter crackers in your cabinet? 
We ran out of peanut butter crackers. All right, so we're moving on to the final boss, I believe. And basically, there's two other ones that we didn't get. And that is going to be some giant crocodile, which you really don't got to worry about. I think they call it a mutadial. And then there's also a tecton, which is a little bit strong, but nothing to worry about. Oh, uh, so the race is pretty chill. I got the pretty easy ones. All right, here we go. So the first thing you want to do is freeze the spinner. And then once the spinner is frozen, you want to kill the spinner. Basically, if you don't set this anti-fire and you're not praying magic, you are going to get shredded. I promise you. I would love to play chicken like I did with my friends and literally try to take off my prayer, but I've made it this far and I really don't anticipate on, you know, losing my entire raid just for fooling around. All right, home is down. All right, so this is the next part that a lot of people have been talking about and has been getting a lot of attention recently. The drop rates on the ancient chest, they are going to get reworked and they are going to get buffed, so stay tuned as the drops are a little bit concerning. Yeah, this is my fourth raid and basically all that time it took, you get a point mystery box, 10 blood money and 50 mil cash. Don't really gotta complain about it too much, only because of the fact that the owner already said that they're going to get significant buffs, so stay tuned for that and basically this is how raids goes. Alright, so this information was taken directly from the update thread. Let's go ahead and start with the Vespula pet. The only thing the Vespula pet really does is grant immunity to Venom, Poison, and Hydra disease. So this pet really isn't the best in my opinion right now, only because of the fact that you can simply use an anti-venom potion, and then this pet really becomes useless. It's really not worth it in my opinion, and I hope that it gets a little bit of a buff or feature similar to the Hydra pet, because it does look like a very venomous type of pet. The Vasa Nisterio pet basically keeps your magic level boosted to 109. It's similar to the Wolpertinger pet, but actually gives you additional magic levels, so I assume the magic accuracy on this thing's going to be busted. Now I wish they would have added like a 15% boost in damage or something like that to add to this pet as it still isn't as strong as it should be. It actually increases your spell maximum hit by plus 5. Now I don't really know where you would really use this only because of the fact that like if you're in max strength the barrage cap is 42. I guess it could be pretty good for stuff like fire surge and stuff but like I said, I would like to see a damage boost. All right, so the Ohm pet. There's a few things that need to be talked about about this one. So if you actually take a look here on the max hit dummy, the Ohm pet is supposed to increase your max hit with anything fire based by plus five. This includes bolt special attacks, fire spells, and DFS and other stuff like that. So if you come take a look here at the max hit dummy, my bolt special attack is a 70 using the Dragon Hunter's crossbow, right? But if you take a look here at the Ohm pet, it still remains 70. It needs to be 75. So that's one of the first things I'm testing out. Elemental Sebo fire damage, your maximum hit's going to be a 60-30. Drop the Ohm pet, it should now be a 65-35, but it's still a 60-30. And just to make sure there aren't any damage caps or anything like that, I did test it out for the Ancient Crossbow. You can see the special attack is a 71, and with the own pet, it should now be a 76. It is still a 71. Holy crap, I'm being photobombed. Might as well show some love to the subscribers. I always love seeing you guys. Yeah, so I'm not really sure if any of these pets are even worth PKing with. I guess we'll test out the Fire Surge. Without the Ohm Pet, our Fire Surge max is a 59. Now, let's go ahead and drop the Ohm Pet and our maximum hit, oh my god, 66. Um, what? Yeah, that's actually pretty sick. Okay, so the Ohm Pet is working for things like Fire Surge. 44, I'll take it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, if I actually get the RNG I need, that can be busted. 23 is not gonna cut it, keep going. Oh my god, a 60. Oh, that could have been it. All right, this has to hit. He's in monk robes for crying out loud. Oh my god, dude, I can never fucking hit with the granite mower. Oh my god, a 61. Oh! Oh, we killed him, we killed him, we killed him. Oh my god, I didn't even have the pet out. Yo, guy was risking fucking bank too. Probably end up giving that back to him if he doesn't flame me for just rushing him out of a fight. But if he comes up to me saying, what's your problem, dude? I'm probably gonna, here he is. Bandos, Chaotic Rapier, and a Serp, I believe. Be careful out there. <laughs> 
What a good sport, man. He says he loves the videos and everything, even after all the spastic and rushed the shit out of him. Oh my god. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> it finally happened, boys. Holy shit. What was that? A 63 into a 75? <gasps> <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, now we're gonna test out the Armadillo God Sword ornament after the fire surge and see if it's just as busted, if not better. The accuracy is going to be a hell of a lot better. Oh my god, dude. God. Might be better to hover over it like that. Into the Holy shit! He's just like sad. Well, I kinda told you to stay back, man. I gotta kill her instinct. <sighs> Kid's just never gonna learn. Oh, that's the ball game, buddy. Good fight. <laughs> uh, yeah, that just happened. We are going to play a game called Fire Surge Roulette. He's got to tank three fire surge hits without eating food. But before we start, I am going to kick off his vengeance because I'm not trying to hit on it. All right, let's start fire roulette. One. <laughs> Two. Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, we have another contester for Fire Roulette. Berserk, I wish you the best of luck. If you can survive three hits without eating, I shall give you five bill cash. We're going to go ahead and knock off the vengeance before we start, because I am not trying to die. <laughs> All it takes is two vengeance and I'm done. Fire Roulette is about to begin. Oh, fuck. <laughs> liar. You're such a liar. Alright, fire roulette. One. Oh my fucking god! Two. Oh! Three. Oh! No, he was risking. I gotta go give him his DH back. Oh my lord, you reckless child. Oh, you gotta love fire roulette, man. Alright, here we go. Will he win the five bill? Oh, all right, here we go. One, oh my god! <laughs> Two, oh! 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 Hey! Survivor! You won fair and square, congratulations! <laughs> hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to make it a really lengthy one for you guys because I know you've been enjoying the content recently. I've been uploading almost every day and I really like the schedule we've been on so far and you guys are showing a lot of support so I really don't mind it. We have a lot of cool content we're going to continue and hopefully these pets get a buff so we can actually continue using different combos with the own pet. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys on this episode and I will see you guys in the next exciting commentary. Peace!